And that's actually a good point. At this point in time, 2015, you have an algorithm that is much faster than RCNN, the one that you started with. And then you're gonna start noticing that this external bounding box proposal algorithm, which was selective search or edge boxes, is actually a bottleneck. It's making your algorithm slow. And then you're naturally gonna ask this question, can I get rid of that? Can I replace it with a neural network so that everything is convolutional and nice? And that's actually what faster RCNN is gonna do. You are gonna replace that external algorithm, which was selective search, with a region proposal network, which is gonna share a lot of parameters with fast RCNN. So you're gonna use this idea of parameter sharing. So you have a region proposal network, you have your fast RCNN neural network, and they're gonna share the convolutional layers. So up until this point, when you take an image, you push it through your convolutional layers, and then you start at a particular feature map, you stop at a particular feature map, you're sharing all of these operations. But then because you want to get rid of that external algorithm, which is giving you object proposals, you need to replace it with something. So you are not getting rid of it altogether. You are replacing those proposals with a dense uh, set of anchor boxes. So for, for each pixel in your convolutional feature map that you're considering, you're gonna have K anchor boxes. So you're gonna have a lot of anchor boxes. In this case, it's gonna be W times H, which is the resolution of this feature map times K of those anchor boxes. And then you're gonna adjust those anchor boxes. Your region proposal network is gonna say, is there an object? You don't care what object that is. Is there an object in this anchor box? Yes or no? So you're gonna have two classes per each anchor. And the other one is adjusting those boxes. These anchor boxes, you're gonna do a regression on them, adjust their location. So you're gonna have two heads for your region proposal network. And then you're gonna train your region proposal network on a good loss function, which is about classification and regression. More details are actually in that video. I go into a lot of details. And then it's a matter of labeling your data properly. How do you know, is there an object within an anchor box? box yes or no? What is positive case? What is negative case? To train that, you're gonna look at intersection over union with ground truth. And then you're gonna have this alternating training procedure. You do transfer learning from an ImageNet pre-trained network to your region proposal network. You do transfer learning uh, once again from ImageNet to your fast RCNN. Your region proposal network is proposing objects for your or object locations for your fast RCNN to consider. Then you're gonna use this detector network to initialize your RPN. So now you're doing transfer learning from fast RCNN to RPN network. And then you are gonna fix uh, the convolutional layers from this point on and only fine tune the last layers, the head of your neural network. And then you do the same thing. You keep the shared convolutional layers fixed and only fine tune the fast RCNN. So you are doing a couple of uh, transfer learning. One of them is coming from ImageNet. For these two steps, you're fine tuning the convolutional layers. Here you're doing transfer learning also, but then you're fixing the convolutional layers and only fine tuning the head of these two networks. And this is the way that things are gonna end up being fully convolutional. But going back to your question, is this still a multi-stage framework or at least two stage? The answer is yes, because you have two neural networks. One of them is proposing bounding boxes for the next one. So RPN is proposing bounding boxes for fast RCNN to consider. So it is still two stage. You got rid of the external uh, selective search or edge box object proposal algorithms, but you still have two stages. You have two neural networks. Was everything clear? Any questions about faster RCNN? Assume the, the small blue squares represent the center of the anchor boxes, right? Yes, this small square, which is, you can think of it as a point, is the center. And then these uh, boxes could have different sizes and aspect ratios. This one has an aspect ratio of one on one. This one is two on one, one and two, and then of different sizes. And then how many anchor boxes you're gonna use is a hyperparameter. And it turns out that too many of them is actually not that helpful anyways. 
Any other questions? Okay, perfect. 